Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Saturday. I've been taking a couple of days off the army. Got a huge mental break, stress relief, you know, just, just straight chilling right now. But while I've been straight chilling, I've been making a lot of research on the hatch. And I'm very excited to tell y'all that we have been doing a lot of major updates on the on the hatch. Uh, one of the first updates that I want to give y'all is this right here. We actually retrofitted a 2008 Civic SI seat into the hatch. And this changes the car so much. It makes it so much more comfortable to drive. And I can't I can't thank my brother-in-law enough for letting me have his, his old seat. And uh, it feels freaking amazing. He did the wells himself. Um, the reason why I didn't record it is because I just wanted to make sure it will fit, make sure we knew how to do it. And then third of all, I don't know what was the third reason. Oh, oh, third of all, I just didn't want to make myself look like look like an idiot cutting the brackets off of the seat and then not being able to fit this thing in, you know? So, eh, whatever. So, we are going to be doing the same thing for the passenger side because I want whoever's sitting next to me to be comfortable. As well as we did the front bearings in the hatch. These things were like completely shot, completely broken, completely like they were riding horrible. And the very next thing that we did was install a Civic Type R replica wing. And I didn't show this uh, due to the fact that just I just I hate doing installs and stuff like that by myself. Um, it's very hard for me to record it. And I like to be able to explain things and be able to just, you know, not just cut to the point, but just be uh, a little bit more thorough and explain a little bit uh, things a little bit better. But today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing the rear main bearings because we already did the front ones. So might as well do the back ones. And we are also going to be fixing the passenger side emergency brake. So let's go ahead and go over to the mass scientist house and go ahead and knock out this project. All right, ladies and gents. So this is the project that we're gonna be doing today. Rear main bearings and the damn emergency brake for the right hand side because the left hand side actually works. And do you mind if I show on the screen? No. Dude, he just installed the AEM CD7 screen and that shit looks fucking badass. So we'll probably take it for a ride, maybe, so we can look at the screen and the colors and all that other bullshit. So it'll be pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and jack the car up, make sure everything's safe, and then let's go ahead and, I think we're gonna knock out these first and then this one later. And after that, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like a, god damn bro, you're loud. I think after that we're gonna do like another, uh, a wipe down, a wipe down uh, on the interior of the hatch because it needs it. And then yeah, so let's go ahead and do what we gotta do. So the first thing we did was take off the uh, the brake caliper. Now we're taking off the bracket. And next thing that we gotta do is take off the disc rotor. And... Fuck. We always forget about this. <laughs> always fucking forget about this. So make sure you leave the caliper on, pull the emergency brake so you can undo these because then you're just gonna be stuck with this. You ready, Holder? Do the other side. Okay. So now it still has a brake caliper. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that one. This one should come out easy because I called it, bro. 
I called him, bro. Yeah, do that first, guys. Don't be dumb like we are. <laughs> well, just me. Take off the screws. We just needed to give it some more uh, love. And uh, I don't know if you can hear this. So that's the noise that we've been hearing. And this one looks a lot easier. I think we just got to take this off and then it comes right off. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, shit. I'm going to leave that in. <laughs> All right. Which one is it? Oh, did you take off the little indentation? Oh, man, they fucked that up. That doesn't work. We got shoes. No? It worked. Things happen. This one? Your show was right. What size is it? 30? 32. 32. Break a bar? Actually, let's do this for real. What's up? Um, so instead of doing how we're going to do it right now, uh -huh. that cap actually comes off before you take anything off. What cap? Oh yeah, yeah. So you could have left the rotor and the brake caliper, and then that way we don't have to hold it. How we're gonna hold it right now with the breaker bar? We mm -hmm. Just step on the brake or put the emergency brake in. Oh, break. but this side, this side doesn't even work for the emergency brake. Yeah. yeah. So just brake. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Bro, that wasn't even bad. That was not even bad at all, bro. I was showing my butt. That'll be all right. You get more views. It's America's ass. Right, That's so what? it might have a. Uh, looks like that washer. Is that a washer? Where? Inside. No. This right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it is. It should just slide out. Yeah, it should just slide out. Oh, Ooh, damn, strong, bro. Man. That scared the shit out of me. Ooh, damn, bro. What happened? Yeah, we're gonna have the same issue, look. The bear, the bear. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding with me, bro. Got the tool. You got the tool, right? Oh, okay, cool. Hey, do you think I should just change out those fucking... Those, uh, discs? No. Because of the rust on the inside? Or no? Does it matter? No? Okay. Okay, so we gotta keep that. Just in case. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take this off. That kind of sucks. Alright, so basically, you gotta make sure that these two are tight. And then right here at the bottom as well. There's 17s, right? Or, no, 19s. And then, this whole toolbox comes with basically everything. If y'all need um, help finding it, that's what it is. Bear separ separator and puller set. So, am I doing the honors? Ooh, let's get in there so that way y'all can see how it comes out easily. Action shot. Action shot. <laughs> Damn, bro, you got to right on the right on the money. Pretty cool, dude. That's actually real nice to have. Nice. All right. <clears throat> it shouldn't matter, right? If it's right or left or whatever. No, Not right. I think it's the same shit. All right, cool. Let's go get the new one. And I like this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. It already, it already comes greased up too. Let's clean that up a little bit. Yeah. Guys, like, little small things like this, they make a huge difference on the car. <laughs> you got the brake thing in our box? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. 
Make sure you weren't using your stuff. And dude, I hate days like this. It's so ugly. <laughs> yeah, when I use my good microphone to towels on this. <laughs> That's on you, bro. <laughs> It's okay, Julio. I'll get you some new microphone towels. So that shouldn't even. Yeah, hold this. Okay. There it goes. And then let me make sure this shit goes on too. Bam. And then where's the 32? Oh, over there. Okay. Damn, bro, these are a lot easier than the front ones. Bro, they're a pain in the ass. Well, not bad. So, let's do the other side. So, guys, we're really surprised. This thing came off without any, without any force, nothing. Just slid right off. Uh, this one was also making a little bit of noise. Uh, we didn't show it because we are just too busy fucking around. But... Came off real easily. Uh, this emergency brake actually works, but the other one, I think we need to adjust, or what we're thinking is, is that they didn't put the brake pad in right. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to do our best to fix everything, all the issues that it has. And we're gonna go ahead and take off the dust shield because we took it off of the other side and we're gonna leave it off. And uh, we're gonna keep on moving. So me and my brother-in-law hate leaving things like half-assed, so. We're going to go ahead and uh, sand this thing down, clean it up, and we're going to paint everything. Paint the brackets, and we're going to be painting the, uh, the actual caliper itself. Uh, they're all nasty and ugly, and you can see that it had like purple paint or some shit. I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and clean all that, all that up, paint it, put everything back together, and take it out for a drive. So, with some time, love, and care, we painted the brake caliper. <clears throat> we already got that uh, new uh, new hub and wheel bearing in. So, we already did this side. Uh, I'm showing you the other side real quick how we're actually painting it. Uh, we're gonna leave it on the car. We're, we got it hung up with this wire right here. So, we basically grabbed the, what is it called? The wheel brush? The wire wheel brush. And he went ahead and cleaned everything out just like so. And now what, we're, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint everything. And then uh, let it dry, get the heat gun, heat it up. And then just repeat. So we're gonna do a little time lapse of that. Yeah, push on my buttons if you don't like me, then fuck it. But don't you smile in my face and just try to play it cool. Perfect. A nigga hate to lose, guess I gotta do what I gotta do. My crew full, ain't no room for you. I ain't sleeping like a day or two. Been too busy grinding, gotta get it soon. So I ain't got no chill right now. I'm trying to make me and my niggas meals right now. I might go win for the fucking kill right now. That's how I feel right now. That's how I feel right now, yeah. I ain't got no chill right now. I'm trying to make me and my niggas meals right now. I might go in for the fucking kill right now. That's how I feel right now. I got no chill right now. Say I ain't got no motherfucking chill right now. I'm trying to make me and my niggas meals right now. I might go in for the fucking kill right now. That's how I feel right now. I got no chill right now. Yeah. Chill right now, they tryna tell a nigga chill, but I'm with
whipping with the wheel right now. Niggas talking shit, but they ain't in the field right now. Niggas sleeping if they doubting all my skills right now. Mad and hating, cause I probably had they bitch face down. Uh, when they see me, they running. I'm on the come up, I'm stunting. Don't give a fuck about nothing. I thought you niggas knew. Don't you dare push on my buttons. If you don't like me, then fuck it. But don't you smile in my face and just try to play it cool. Perfect. A nigga hate to lose, guess I gotta do what I gotta do. So right now we got the car already all done, button up. So all we gotta do is tighten up the. Uh, it's not an axle nut. What is it called? Spin. Oh, axle nut. Yeah. Well, you don't have an axle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Hub nut. <laughs> and we were messing around with the emergency brake because it was kind of it was it was acting kind of weird. So, but we got that figured out. Bam. All right, cool. Let me show you how the caliper looks and all that good stuff. Actually inside the wheel, it actually looks real nice and clean. Just a little bit of time, love, and care to actually make things look right. For some reason, they, I don't know, it looked purple, right? They had like purple paint on the caliper. But there you go, guys. Uh, we're not even gonna do the install on this because uh it's we already fixed the problem they put the brake pad in wrong so it's just kind of tripping so thank you guys for watching and uh we'll see you later